Hello and welcome to Planet Nutrition. My name is Luke, I'm a nutritionist, and in this video, we're talking about what to do if you wanna get healthy 2024. And now we're several months into the year, maybe you're where you're at with your health goals that you're working on, maybe you're not quite where you would like to be. And there's no better time than right now to get started. But I wanna give you some really key tips and good information, they're kind of like the biggest levers that you can pull that will have the most effect. So rather than wasting our time on some things that might not help too much, we wanna be putting our effort in the right place that we're actually doing things that are going to help. So tip number one is literally just focusing on the basics of a healthy diet. I'm gonna put an image up here. It is a plating method for eating healthy, balanced food. And I know nutrition can seem complicated, it can seem overwhelming, but all experts agree on the foundations of a healthy, balanced diet. Probably we wanna be consuming more fruits, and more vegetables, basically more whole and processed foods, mostly from plants, and less processed and unnatural foods. Obviously, you can still consume your favorite foods in moderation, but we're wanting to shift mostly to whole foods. And a tip for this is rather than focusing on, oh, I'm on a diet and I'm excluding these things, I can't eat my favorite food. We wanna shift that mindset to including more beneficial foods. We're gonna focus on including all of these amazing healthy foods and you can still have space within that to eat some ice cream or pizza or whatever it is. But also leading into the next tip is getting in touch with your body and how you're feeling. Because when we actually start to bring more awareness to our body, we can start to make empowered choices about what we're doing in our life. And I mean, this is important for nutrition and health, but for everything in our life as well. So imagine we make some positive changes and maybe we're feeling better, but if we're kind of going through life, distracting ourselves on our phone, we might not even really notice too much that we're feeling better or worse. But if we're like, okay, I've made these changes and I'm gonna tune in, maybe doing something like a little journal just about, okay, this is what I ate, this is how I felt. And this can be really empowering because if we know I made these changes and damn, I'm feeling so much better right now, that is so much more empowering because it makes us want to keep going. We've got this momentum, we're feeling good. And then maybe we do eat some food that we used to eat and it's not about beating ourselves up about it or judging ourselves. It's just about mindfully noticing, okay, well, I ate that whole pizza and now I don't feel so good. <laughs> I feel bloated, I feel low in energy and it's not about getting rid of it. It's just about noticing that and then you can make a choice. We all have a choice. We can choose which direction we wanna move in and when we're empowered and we know the benefits in our body of how good we feel, it's much easier to make that choice the healthy option, if you will, because we know we're gonna feel so much better. And if you go to the link in the description, I have my food and mood journal that I give to all of my clients and this is such a good way to just get in touch with what you're eating and how you're feeling, you can download that for free. Think of it as my little gift to you to help you out. My next tip in this is actually about sleep. Sleep is so incredibly important for all aspects of our health. It's when our body slows down, we repair our cells and organs and everything clear out all the gunk, they repair so they can remain in an optimal state. And when we aren't sleeping well, we're literally just not giving our body this time to relax and reset, repair, and clear out all of that stuff. Finding some rhythm and routine around bedtime can be really helpful. Doing something before bed that relaxes us can be so helpful as well. I love to do just like a little yoga sequence before bed, legs out in front of me folding forward doing some deep breathing, but it can be really helpful to have a little bit of space between, you know, disconnecting from what we've been doing in the day before we go into sleep. Some people, you know, love to do a little journaling and write down 
what they've got from the day, if you have any anxious thoughts or anything, getting them out on paper can kind of unload them from your head. So you can work on them tomorrow if you need to, but right now you're saying it's time to sleep. And it is really important for our health as well because there has been research that's shown people that don't get enough sleep are more likely to over consume calories. And if weight loss is one of your goals, getting enough sleep is actually really a powerful tool for that as well. When we're well rested, we also are much more easily able to make that good choice based on feeling good rather than trying to seek out something to make us feel better because we just aren't feeling that great because we didn't sleep. And another really important tip is finding a way to move your body that feels good for you. Whether that's going for a walk, doing some yoga, going for a run, biking, going to the gym, swimming, surfing, exercise. Like I'm a nutritionist. I'm so passionate about nutrition, but I've thought about this and I think if I had the power to control the world and I could make one change that would improve the health of the most people possible, that would actually be to get some more movement in, to get some exercise. Because exercise is so incredibly important. It's important for our mental health. It's important for giving our body enough structure and strength, the health of our bones, the health of our muscles. Getting cardiovascular exercise increases our body's ability to utilize energy in our mitochondria, these powerhouses of our cell that provide energy for our body. When we exercise enough, we're literally increasing our body's ability to produce energy on the cellular level. So we feel better, we feel more energized, and we're able to move through life more confidently, feeling better energy on the cellular level. So we feel better, we feel more energized, and we're able to move through life more confidently, feeling better. It's so incredibly important, such a big piece of wellness. And honestly, if you're just doing these few things that I've talked about in this video, that is a huge percentage of your health. And I know there can be information online about doing this thing or doing that thing, but a lot of these things that people talk about, they're only a small percentage of our health. I like to imagine like a pie chart, our health pie, if you will. But 97% of that is that healthy, balanced diet, getting enough sleep, managing stress, moving our body in a way that feels good regularly. And on top of that, maybe we can add in some supplements and superfoods, some biohacks, cold plunges, sauna, all of these things. I love all of these things as well, but we want to have a good foundation before we start to build on it. And if you focus on that foundation in 2024, you're going to be doing such wonders for your health for now and for the long term as well. And if you're needing some more support with your health, check out the link in the description. I'm offering completely free 30 minute nutrition consultations to get some individual advice based on your situation to support you. This is a resource I'm offering out into the world. If that feels good to you, use it. I would love to support you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, my friends. Stay healthy and I'll see you in the next one.